the Nazi regime was defeated, but Soviet Hulak wasn't. Accountability wasn't present. The crimes of humanity which was committed during Soviet time were never judged. And that is why we have this culture of impunity, culture which denies human dignity, culture which provides Russians to act and to do whatever they want. And we must break the circle of impunity. We live in a new century. We cannot wait. Justice must be independent of the magnitudes of Putin's regime's power. We have to create special tribunal now and hold Putin, Lukashenko and other Russian war criminals accountable. You and your organization, the Center for Civil Liberties, have been warning for years about the deterioration of civil rights and situation in Ukraine. But you said they did not listen to us. What about now? For decades, the voices of human rights defenders wasn't heard. Maybe we was heard in UN Human Rights Council or in OEC Human Rights Dimension meeting, but not in rooms where political decisions were taking place. And now, after this large-scale invasion started, the change. For decades, even well-developed democracies closed their eyes what Russia do with their own civil society. They continued business as usual, they shake in Putin's hands, they built gas uh, pipeline. They were silent to that fact that Russian troops commit horrible atrocities in Chechnya, in Moldova, in Georgia, in Mali, in Syria, in Libya. It's pushed Russia to think that they can do whatever they want. And that is why we have now to rethink this experience and to make our political decision on the human rights basis as well as economical benefits or security issue, not just in internal, but also on external policy. I have the honor to call upon Oleksandra Matvichuk, representing Center for Civil Liberties, to deliver the Nobel Peace Prize lecture. Congratulations for winning the Nobel Peace Prize in 2022. You and your organization, the Center for Civil Liberties, have been recognized on a global level. How has your point of view shifted since winning this prestigious award? Has it affected the work that you do? How? The Nobel Peace Prize provides us opportunity to make our voice tangible. We are not celebrities. We are ordinary human rights defenders. We received the Nobel Peace Prize because we represent the wish of millions of people for justice. And this is a very powerful demand. Our goal is not just to investigate uh, the crimes which was committed by Russian troops and identified the concrete perpetrators. Our goal is to stop these crimes to be committed because we are still in ongoing war and this war is very bloody. And I would never wish any nation to go to this experience, but these dramatic times provide us an opportunity to express the best in us. The values of modern civilization must be defended. The mass mobilization of ordinary people can change the world history quicker than the UN intervention. To be Europeans, it means to be in solidarity with people who are fighting for freedom and for their democratic choice. To take an active position, not just a pose. To be Europeans, it means that you have to defend your own values. Values of democracy, values of rule of law and human rights. Mm -hmm.